Hey everyone, it's Ryan Lundquist with SacramentoAppraisalBlog.com and today I want to show you how to make a graph like this. This is kind of cool. I've just came up with this. It's a way to visualize price cycles in a real estate market. Okay, in Sacramento, here are 40 years of um, real estate sales um, and here's the price trend, the Freddie Mac price index. You can kind of see over time how the index has changed, but the red bars indicate uh, times when prices were declining. And so I like this because it almost shows sort of a seasonality to the market okay, over over many decades where you see that there's up up times and down times. OK, it, it just helps us visualize the market. All right. And what I want you to do is to be able to plug in data for your area or your city or your state to help tell a similar story. Now, keep in mind, if you scroll down here. There's also one other graph that's going to be made when you populate the data here. All right. And this is just, you know, whatever the price metric is that you're using. Um, and I put that there because some of you might look at the, this graph and it might not be that meaningful because what if your graph goes up and then there's one downturn? I mean, that's not very descriptive to have, you know, one downtrend in an entire graph. So um, if you're on YouTube, make sure you have this Excel file. You can go to the description and you can download it in the link I provide. Um, here it is, uh, sacramentoappraisalblog.com slash price cycle template.zip. There are a couple hyphens in there. So anyway, super easy. Let's make this simple. There's five quick steps. Um, first, I want you to go to the Freddie Mac price index. The link is right here under step number one. And I want you to download the one that says MSAs. This is for the metropolitan areas. Um, you can also download state and national data. I recommend first check out to see if your area is listed with Freddie Mac. OK, now you're going to have to determine whether the data here is really reflective of your market. OK, this is where we have to think uh, beyond the numbers. Okay, in Sacramento, I've been using this price metric for a long time. I feel like it reflects the market pretty well. If you end up cutting and pasting this information into the, my Excel template and it doesn't look right, I mean, maybe don't use it. Okay, um, so you can see there's MSAs by price uh, or by um, alphabetical order, and we're going to use Cleveland. So let's go over to Cleveland. Um, the home of Jamie Owen, my friend. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Cleveland, where are you? Okay, Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, here's Cleveland, Ohio. And you can see there's one other area lumped in here. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I don't know how. But um, I'm going to left click, keep the mouse down, and then scroll up. I'm basically going to try. Oh, here we go. I'm going to stop at the top box. I just want to cut and paste this. So let me copy it. Control C. That's a shortcut for copying, and this is so easy. I'm going to open up the file, and I'm going to paste the Cleveland data into column B. I'm going to click on the B, and let me delete my Sacramento data, and I'm going to put my mouse in the first box here, and I'm going to go right-click on there or push Control-V and go to Paste. Boom, there's Cleveland data. And so let's make a couple quick changes. I'll show you what I would do. Cleveland, real estate price cycles in Cleveland. Cleveland looks a lot different than my market, right? It just shows the market isn't the same in every location. I'm going to double click on the Y axis and let me see 150. Um, I could go to 140. OK, you get it however it works for you. All right. So and you can, you know, adjust the text or ho however you want here. But um, the third step after you cut, um, cut and paste the data. And first of all, let me say this. If your MSA looks weird, then maybe you just go with your entire state. OK, it's still valuable to look at the panoramic picture. Um, you can use a whole entire United States. I've seen it in here. I mean, it looks really bad. There's way too much data. It sort of takes out um, any real downturn besides 2005 for the most part. So here's what you want to do. Cleveland trended differently than my market. And so it looks like, let me see here, somewhere around um, 79. Gosh, it looks like somewhere around, let's see, 1980. It looks like the market started to decline. So um, column C deals with that. And let's scroll down. And what I want you to do is to put 100 whenever there's a declining trend, it's, it's starting. So let's look here 
when a decline began. Now, I'm going to have to make a judgment call here because it looks like it dipped for a few months and then it's going back up. And I want to definitely find, okay, so it's, it looks like it's really declining here. And so I can kind of go through and I'm going to put 100 wherever it is declining. All right. Um, declining. Okay. Declining, declining, declining. Okay. Now it looks like it starts to turn around right about, let's see here. Okay. And so let's see if we got that right. So basically, do you see what I did? Any place where there's declining, here's the trend. And it goes, let's see, from 75 to 90. And so 15 months, so almost a year and a half. And so do you see what it did on the graph? It put right there. Now, I might, I could maybe do, a, extend this, you know, the whole way. You know, it looks like a whole nother year where the market was sort of down a little bit and up. And so you're going to have to be, you know, make a judgment call on that. OK, let me scroll down to the 90s, because look, it doesn't look like the market really declined at all. There was a recession in the 90s, but apparently Cleveland was doing really well. So way to go, Cleveland. So I'm going to delete all the Sacramento stuff here. OK, and then let's go back up. OK, so there's nothing there now. It almost lo it looks very similar to Sacramento, but let's kind of go down and uh, and see. Um, scroll down and do we get it right? Okay, it's declining. Okay, so let's delete that. Delete that. Okay, it's starting now. Okay, we'll delete that. Okay, so it looks like the decline really started in early 2006. It goes down and all right, gosh, it ended um, right about the same time. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, no, it was flat there, so I'll leave that. So, um, okay, so anyway, if I wanted to show Cleveland real estate cycles, here's what I would do. All right, now the cool part is that I have this other graph down here, and I could basically show, you know, 40 plus years of sales in Cleveland once I, you know, mess with the y axis. And, and one thing you might want to do, if you can adjust this for inflation, Graphs like this look way better adjusted for inflation. Um, I don't have time to do that right now, but otherwise it's kind of it's kind of neat just to see anyway. But just for fun, let's look back up and let's go to the Freddie Mac price index and let's download the state. Let's just see all of Ohio just to see if the trend's similar. What I might recommend, I mean, just get it get it done with Ohio too or whatever state or MSA you have because it, I don't know I, that could be interesting. So here's Ohio. Let's go through the same process. Control C. And look, if you have MLS data, I would actually suggest if you have data from MLS for the past 40 years, I would actually much prefer to use that. But the issue is in my market, our MLS data really only goes back about 20 years. And so I don't, I'm not privy to this type of information. So that's why I rely on Freddie Mac. Okay, so I deleted the Cleveland data um, and I'm going to paste in um, Ohio data. Wow, it looks just about the same. Um, I just want to make sure. Was it, yeah, no, see, that, that was definitely different. Um, but gosh, very similar trend, huh? Isn't that wild? A uh, little bit of an uptick here. Um, I don't know. So anyway, that's the story of the market. Um, I just say use whatever price metric you want. Um, you be the judge as to whether this works. Um, oh, one last thing. How do you save these images? There's a couple ways. Um, if you have a, um, a snipping tool on your desktop, you know, you can snip that, snip the image here, you know, however that or um, here's an easy way. If you click in Excel in the white portion um, and go to copy. And then if you open up a program like Microsoft Paint, um, this is a freeware program. I just push Control V and look, there it is. I'm ready to save the image. Okay, I can save it on my desktop. Okay, so piece of cake. Um, 
I hope that helps. If you have any um, comments, comment below, no problem. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. But I just hope that for my colleagues that it helps you to maybe understand your market and to, um, to just really be able to tell the story of your market um, to a greater extent. And so feel free to use these um, anywhere. I mean, they're yours. Um, you know, go out there and get it. Okay. Hey, thanks everyone. Take care.